June. Starting now, Victoria. Okay. Uh, it, uh, being six o'clock and there being a quorum present, uh, I'm going to open the meeting of the Freetown Conservation Commission for June 13th. Uh, Kevin Damaris, the chairman, is not able to be here tonight. So myself, Charles Sullivan, the vice chairman, will uh, conduct the meeting. And I'll read the uh, governor's uh, decree before I start. Pursuant to Governor Baker's February 15th, 2022 order, extending the March 12th, 2020 order, uh, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, um, chapter 30A, section 18, and the governor's March 15th, 2020 order, imposing strict limitations on the number of people who may gather in one place. This meeting of the Freetown Conservation Commission will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and general guidelines for the remote participation by members of the public can be found on the Town of Freetown website, freetownmass.gov. For, for this meeting, members of the public who wish to listen to the meeting may do so in the following manner, downloading Zoom and entering the meeting ID below, calling the number listed below and entering the meeting ID listed below or by going to <coughs> US02Web Zoom US-Join and entering the meeting ID listed below. No in-person attendance of, meet of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means in the event of, in the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post for the on the town's website or YouTube channel an audio and visual recording transcript and other comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. All right, uh, I'll go to item number one, uh, which is the continuances of several hearings that uh, we had tonight, listed for tonight. So could I hear a motion to continue the notice of intent hearing for 92 Narrows Road and for also 11 GM Way? I'll make that motion. Motion made, do I hear a second? I'll second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor, I'll call the roll. Margaret French? Aye. Margaret French, aye. Keith Mello? Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Item number two, uh, open the hearing with notice of intent for 108 Slabridge Road. Could I have a motion to open the hearing? I'll make it. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Uh, roll call, Margaret French. Aye. Margaret French, aye. Keith Mello. Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Um, who's going to speak for the Department of Conservation and Recreation? Right. Hi, this is Paul Janagy here. I can kick us off if that's all right. Yes, if, if you would uh, give us a brief overview of the project. Sure. Uh, so I'm Paul Janagy. I'm trail planner with the Department of Conservation and Recreation. I'm also here with Naomi Valentine from SWCA. Um, and if we get to any questions of the more technical wetlands nature, I'll, I'll turn it over to Naomi. But I can give you, um, can I share my screen? Just Sure, uh, Victoria, can you? Yep. Um, all set. Okay, let's see. I'll just share um, a couple of pictures here. So these are just some pictures from the filing. We um, This uh, project is proposing to make some repairs to the Smoky Bear Trail at the Freetown Fall River State Forest, which is one of our more popular trails near the headquarters area, uh, Slab Bridge Road and, and Payne Road. This trail currently crosses three different wetland areas. Two of these wetland areas have, as you can see, if, if you can see my screen, some pretty 
uh, old and deteriorated and not, not quite sufficient um, uh, bridging across them. So we're proposing uh, to replace uh, these with new bog bridging uh, that'll be uh, set on what are called diamond piers. So these are a very small footprint um, concrete footer that are then um, staked into the into the ground uh, to provide a stable surface uh, for the, the 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 punch in as we call it uh, and then the third wetland doesn't have existing structures but there's a we want to try to also add a punch in to, to cross this structure as well um, so that's sort of a real brief overview if you have specific questions about uh, more of the details here's here's some photos of the example of what those diamond piers uh, look like um, so they're, we're actually reducing the foot, the contact uh, with the with the wetland resource in these areas uh, through this project, um, and also have maps if people want to see that. But. Um. So here's a, a map of the trail system in this part of the state of the forest. Um, and again, here are the three wetlands, wetland one, wetland two, and, and wetland three in this area. Okay, uh, is there anyone from the public that has any questions? Don't see anything, do you, Victoria? Nope, I don't see any. Do any members have any questions? I'm good, Charlie. All right, as, as we see, uh, you're bringing the structures up a lot higher off the uh, floor of the uh, wetlands. And you're actually going to be making less impediment than is presently there, correct? Correct. Um, I'll make, I'll, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Motion's made. Do I have a second? Uh, second. A motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Keith Mello. Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Aye. Michael French, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Uh, the public hearing is closed. Um, if all I would say is you know, I will entertain a motion now to uh, accept the plan, and it seems like it's, as we said, certainly going to make a betterment. If I may ask one question, though, sir, do you have any intention of putting anything, a skid uh, resistant surface at all on any of those bridges? That's Why, I, one time about three years ago, I was on the path the, that runs from uh, oh, Payne up to the other end of the other end of the path to Hathaway and I took a head of one wet day and uh, so if I may uh, just give you a little suggestion that maybe you put something on the surface if it's possible. It's a it's a great suggestion thank you. Um, this this design will actually have boards that go um, perpendicular to the to the tread so that's a little bit better um, and we'll one of the things we do sometimes it's, uh, is, is specify a rough cut uh, timber because that provides a little bit more uh, tread. But it's it's one of those perennial questions that nobody has a great solution to. But uh, it's certainly something we're mindful of. Like I said, all right. Uh, I'll accept the motion to uh, accept the uh, notice of intent and the plan. And uh, if anyone has any uh, stipulations they would add. Uh, Please just uh, say, I don't know if there is any. I'll make the motion to move forward with it. All right, motion made. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Uh, roll call, Keith Mello. Aye. Uh, Keith Mello, aye. Uh, Margaret French. Aye. Margaret French, aye. Uh, Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you and good luck with the project, folks. Same. Thank you thank and you. thank the commission for your time. Have a good well, night. Good night. Okay, uh, item number three is a notice of intent for 35 East Public uh, Street. Uh, 
the applicant is Tim Pillarella, and the representative is Niles Zager. And uh, I see that Tim Pillarella is also here. So uh, Niles, um, just one minute, let me get the formality out. Uh, a motion to open the public hearing. So moved. Motion made to open the public hearing. Do we have a second? I'll second. Motion made and seconded. David Keith Mello. Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Margaret French. Aye. Margaret French, aye. Ch aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Niles, you want to be the lead off? Yes, sir. Uh, for the record, Niles Zager from Zenith Consulting Engineers. I'm also here with the applicant owner, Tim Pillarella. Um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to share my screen um, with the plan. All right. Everyone can see that plan? Yes. 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 Right. Thank you. Um, so, so basically what we're looking to do is this is at the end of East Public Street. Um, his, so his current residence is located, I'm going to move my cursor around, it's basically located in a shaded area here. Um, and I believe it's at a point now where his family's growing um, and he needs to, he needs to um, improve the home. So we're before you uh, with an application for a new home construction, uh, which completely complies with the current zoning setbacks. Um, we're also proposing a new septic system, which you can see here underneath the pavement. Um, in doing so, we're doing the work within 100 feet of the uh, Sona Bay, um, as well as where a small portion of work is located within the uh, flood zone um, AE14. Um, so <clears throat> as you can see, the red line here is the 50 foot buffer here. The green is the 100 foot buffer. Kind of goes like this. So you can see the majority of the home is within the 100 foot buffer. The septic system is completely outside the 100 foot buffer um, and a good portion of the house is within it. There's really very, very little work within the 50 foot buffer, um, as you can see. So this is the limit of work, the silt sock that runs along here. This is the small portion of work that we need just to be able to kind of grade it and work the, and work the construction. Um, there is a small patio in the rear of the prop rear here, as well as a uh, deck um, on the on the back of the building here. Um, as far as the flood zone goes, is very minimal impact um, within that. We're basically raising the grade less than a foot in that elevation, the 14. Um, and then we uh, do have the impact of that buffer zone as well that I was talking about. That being said, the majority of this site has already been developed. Uh, there's really very little, um, you know, trees that are coming down. It's all really really a um you know it's already um uh serviced by you know you all its utilities it's already got impervious structures on the property you've got the existing home driveway things of that nature so it's really it's just, we're just trying to uh create a little bit larger of a home um, it's already fully landscaped it will be fully landscaped when it's completed um it, the perk test we did perk test with the board of health uh which were pat which passed um, so we meet all those standards as well. It will be serviced by um, town water, uh, which it currently is, which is we have to rerun it because of the, the relocation of the home and the new septic system that's located on the property. Um, natural heritage is probably the last thing I want to talk about. Um, there is a natural heritage boundary. Um, as you can see um, here, I have it labeled here. It also basically follows the flood zone. Um, but it does come out from the flood zone over here. Uh, so I'm sorry, actually the natural heritage boundary is here. Um, there is no work within that natural heritage boundary at all. As, at all. We did not receive any comments from natural heritage. Um, and it's been over the 30 days since they've been notified. So they're basically said basically when they don't respond within 30 days, they're saying they have no issue with it. Uh, besides that, it'd be, um, you know, I tried to give a general overview. If you guys have any questions or concerns, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, Niles, how much larger than the present footprint will the new footprint be? 
Uh, that's a good question. I actually don't know the exact number. Tim, do you know the exact number of how big the new one is compared to the old one? I mean, I can figure it out, actually. If you give me one minute here, I can tell you. All right. I just got to open up my AutoCAD. Just be a little me. Bear with me. So the existing structure uh, is approximately 1,200 square feet. The new Bear with me for one second here, guys. Something weird's going on. Uh, nothing's going to work good when you want to. Again, just bear with me for one second here. It's a good question. Um, It's approximately 2,800 square feet. All right. It was about two and a half times. Okay. Uh, is there anyone from the uh, general public that wishes to ask any questions? Is the septic being put in the same place as the previous one or where was the previous one? Uh, so the previous one was actually kind of in the side of the home. Um, this is actually further away from the resource area. Uh, it's over 100 feet from the from the Sona Bay now, which is where, as before, it was not. Okay. Um, it's going to be under the driveway. Um, that's the only way we could really get it to fit uh, to to make the to make this work. So it's it's definitely a huge improvement from what was there currently. Um, as you know, I mean, it's obvious. This is a as you can tell, this is a significant grade change. You go all the way from the bay at elevation one ish. All the way up to over elevation 20 where you know in the high 20s around the house so this is significant this is a big big hill of sand beautiful beautiful soils out there um so this is definitely a huge improvement from what was there in the you know previously as far as the septic goes all right niles um uh, any other questions all right um i'll uh, that's where you uh, motion to close the public hearing. I'll make it. I'll motion, second. Motion made, seconded. Uh, all in favor, aye. Keith Mello, aye. Margaret French, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Aye. The uh, public hearing is closed. The only thing, uh, Niles and Tim, that you'll uh, you probably would like to do is we have those little. Uh, Oh, notices that where the boundaries are for wetlands uh, probably wouldn't be bad to have you come down and grab some of those and put up uh, when the project is over. All right. We could put those along. So we have a lim the limit of work with, a, with the silt sock is. I'm assuming that's roughly where you would like it, I assume. Right. Yep, absolutely. Yep, that's not a problem, Tim. You have no problem with that. Okay. Hearing that, um, with that stip one stipulation, um, could I have a motion to uh, <clears throat> or accept this uh, notice of intent? So moved. Second. Motion, motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Uh, roll call, Keith Mello. Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Uh, Margaret French. Aye. Margaret French, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye motion passes. Thank you. Good luck, Tim. And thank uh, you very much. I think thank you very uh, much, everyone. I think you want to stay for the next I'm, one, right? I'm staying. <laughs> All right. I'm not going anywhere. You guys are stuck with me for another one. All right. Um we'll go on to uh item number four, notice of intent, 24 Roundsville Drive. Applicant owner is Stephen Smith. The representative is Niles Zig. Go ahead, Niles. Okay, great. Uh, for the record, Niles Zager from Zenith Consulting Engineers. Um, we have before you another single family home. Um, 
essentially this one uh, is on a vacant lot uh, known as uh, 24 Roundsville. It's currently fully wooded. Uh, wetland line that you see before you was flagged by Steve Schmiel, who does a lot of work in town, does a lot of work for us. Um, this field located by my office and topography was done from my office as well. Um, this has been submitted to the Board of Health and already, I believe, issued a permit subject to conservation approval. Um, perk tests were done out here and, and meet all the standards of Title V and the town regulations. Basically, what we're looking to do is uh, we're proposing a driveway along the, along the property line here, and then it comes out and into the, the home. We provided a turnaround. We've maintained a 25 foot um, at minimum, except for the access in where it gets tight. Um, we're basically um, we're about two feet away from the, the wetland line in this area here. Um, however, what we've done to try to mitigate that is we proposed a split rail fence um, along that area, as well as the signage that the town likes, uh, that the commission typically likes uh, along that. And we can obviously put that signage along the limit of work as well for the er with the erosion control. Um, we've met, you know, other than that, we've uh, met the 25 foot, uh, which I know the commission typically likes to see. Um, you know, this, the, the property is serviced by water service as well as an on-site septic system. And the only work really, the, the, pretty much the entire property is within the 100 foot buffer zone. Um, however, it does meet the, the, the zoning requirements for the town of Freetown. It has over 70,000 square, 70, square feet of area. Um, it has over uh, 52,000 square feet of upland area. Um, so it does meet all the standards. It has uh, sufficient frontage. Um, so it does meet all the cr criteria and it does meet all the zoning setbacks um, as well as all the uh, requirements under the Wetlands Protection Act. So. Um, that being said, I'd be happy to answer any questions that the commission has. Hi, um, I'm good. Niles, anyone else have any questions? I'm good. All right, uh, this being a public hearing, we also, uh, if there's anyone from the public who wishes uh, to ask a question, please just let us know. We good on that, Victoria? Yep, there's nobody here. No. All right. All right. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. I'll make that motion. motion I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Chief Mello? Aye. Margaret French? Aye. Carl Sullivan? Aye. The uh, hearing is closed. All right. Uh, Niles, like you said, you like. The rail fence, the posting, probably would be good to do it all along the, uh, the line there since it is kind of a strange lot there. Uh, yes. Okay. And with that stipulation, I'll accept the motion to uh, approve the plans. So moved. Motion is made. I'll second. Motion is seconded. All in favor say aye. Roll call, Chief Mello. Aye. Chief Mello says aye. Margaret French. Aye. Margaret French says aye. Charles Sullivan says aye. Motion passes unanimous. Thank you Thank again. You. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great night. You too. Take care. <clears throat> uh, item number five is the notification from the owner of 81 High Street. Uh, who wishes to take his property out of uh, chapter 61. I don't know what the, uh, the letter is. I think it might be E, but chapter 61, he uh, wants to sell the property for uh, $350,000. And through chapter 61, he has to notify the town and various boards uh, who may uh, take them up on purchasing it. Seeing the, the price and so forth, I don't know what you wanna do. I will accept uh, a uh, motion on this. It, is this just to allow him to sell it, Charlie? Right. I'm, I'm a little confused. And actually, what, we're, what we're doing is we're waiving our first refusal rights. Okay. Yes. So 
Okay, so I'll, I'll make the motion that we waive our first refusal rights. Okay. I'll second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Keith Mello. Aye. Keith Mello says aye. Margaret French. Aye. Margaret French says aye. Charles Sullivan says aye. Motion passes unanimously. Uh, <clears throat> Item number six is the minutes from the last meeting on May 23rd, 2022. Um, anyone have any questions, any revisions, anything they want to uh, say about minutes? Looks good to me. All right. <laughs> Keith, you good with that? Yes, sir. Victoria, another good job. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Uh, I'll accept the motion to accept the minutes of uh, May 23rd. I'll second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Keith Mello. Aye. Keith Mello says aye. Margaret French. Aye. Margaret French says aye. Charles Sullivan says aye. Motion passes unanimously. Item number seven is to refund uh, Oh, the amounts listed for each of the properties uh, on item seven. Uh, this money is uh, oh, money that was held in escrow to uh, do uh, reviews, et cetera. Um, and now it's the case the uh, projects have been closed and we would like to, well, we uh, should probably uh, return this money to the rightful owners. Anyone have any questions? Have we closed out 43 Water Street? Yes, yes, that order of conditions uh, has been issued already. Okay, and 67 Chase Road and off Chickaway? Yep, those have already oh. been issued. Okay, I keep seeing them pop up and I wasn't sure if it was closed or not. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Right, and I think the uh, Chase Road off Chippewa, we, we do have a project pending, uh, but it's a different uh, project. Fund. Oh, okay. This, this is that, the solar panels that are already there uh, on Chase Road. No, these, these, um, this, uh, yeah, the top, yeah, these are the, I'm sorry, the 67 <laughs> Chase Road, I couldn't get my thoughts together. The 67 Chase Road in the off chip way, the second uh, refund listed, that was for the ANRAD that was done. So when the commission approved, um, you know, the delineation and uh, where the resource areas are, um, that was done prior to the notice of intent that we just did for both of those projects. Okay. okay. All right, so uh, I'll accept the motion to uh, fund these funds. So moved. I'll uh, second. Uh, motion made and seconded. Uh, all in favor say aye. Uh, Keith Mello. Aye. Margaret French. Aye. Charles Sullivan. Aye. Uh, item number six is the discussion and take action relative to gatekeeper candidate Mark Rocco. How do you pronounce the last name there? I think it's Roca. Okay. All right. Um, Victoria, you just want to tell them what you had told me earlier today? And yeah, of course. Um, so Kevin and I uh, interviewed uh, Mark last week, um, and we think he's a great can candidate for the gatekeeper position. Um, he has open availability to be able to open and close the gate. Um, if we decide to move forward with Mark, I believe, um, you know, the commission would, would still be interested in hiring a second person, you know, in case, um, you know, so Mark doesn't have that responsibility to do it every day. And if he goes away or, you know, is sick or whatever the case may be, there's someone else there to uh, take care of that. Any other questions? No. Nope. All right. I accept the motion to uh, oh, uh, appoint mm -hmm. him as a gatekeeper. I'll make it. I'll motion. second. 
Motion is made and seconded. Uh, all in favor say aye. Keith Mello? Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Margaret French? Aye. Margaret French, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Charlie? Yes. Um, would you uh, be able to amend that motion to say uh, point mark Roka pending uh, the Corey check coming back? Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Thank you. We'll, we'll uh, add an amendment to that motion uh, that the appointment is uh, conditional on a uh, negative Corey check. I need a motion. I need I need someone to make that motion. I'm sorry, I'll make that motion. I'll motion, second. Motion made and seconded. Uh, all in favor say aye. Keith Mello? Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Margaret French? Aye. Margaret French, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Uh, number nine is review the open meeting law complaint that we received uh, that the uh, Victoria's letter to the uh, commission was in the packet. Does anyone have any questions? No. I do not. I, um, I'll accept the motion to uh, forward that letter. I'll make it. Second. Motion, motion is made and seconded. Keith Mello? Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Margaret French? Aye. Margaret French, aye. Charles Sullivan? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Um, number nine is to make the reappointments listed below. Does anyone have any questions? Nope. All right. I'll accept the motion. So moved. Motion, so, so moved. The motion is seconded. All in favor, aye. Keith Mello? Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Margaret French? Aye. Margaret French, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. Number nine, any other business properly to come before the Conservation Commission? Anyone else have any business? I, nope, I don't. I do not either. All righty. Uh, then I'll accept the motion to uh, adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion to adjourn made. Uh, all in favor say aye. Keith Mello? Aye. Keith Mello, aye. Margaret French? Aye. Margaret French, aye. Charles Sullivan, aye. Motion passes unanimously. All right. 32 minutes, 34 minutes. <laughs> Not Great bad. job, Charlie. I'm gonna make Great a job, Charlie. <laughs> I, I think I might have found our new commissioner right here. <laughs> uh, well, I can, get, I can get I can get to talking too sometimes, but uh, when we're on the clock, no. Uh, yeah. All right, folks. Uh, you take care. Have a good, have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Good night.